We welcome you back to the 2022 A-Sun Championship game. I'm John Vitas. Happy to be working the sidelines today for this fantastic matchup. These two teams very familiar with one another. They met six times in the regular season, splitting those six matchups. But they met just last week in Lynchburg, and it was Kennesaw State who took two out of the three. The man to start that series opener, Jack Myers. He is today's starting pitcher, went six and two-thirds in that game. But he's been a busy man since, pitching twice already in this A-Sun Championships. He's thrown two. 219 pitches in the last nine days. Whatever he's got left, he's going to use it here today. Back live from Swanson Stadium, a 3-0 lead for Kennesaw State. And guys, the Owls looking to go back to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2014. When they got there back in 2014, they made it all the way to the Super Regionals. Liberty's been in the last two NCAA tournaments, and they've made the most of the opportunities, beating Power 5 programs in each of those last three berths. So these teams are dying to get back, and once they've gotten there, they've had some success. Bryce? An early 5-0 lead for Kennesaw State. We're joined with head coach Ryan Coe. And, and coach, the bats have been doing a great job so far. What's been the key to the approach to put up five early against Liberty? Uh, nothing really different than we've done all year. These guys are aggressive. They grind out every at bat. They you know, have uh, hit some really good pitches today, use the whole field. That's nothing different than we've done all year. We just got to keep grinding down some runs and keep adding on. We watched the Flames put up 18 runs in the semifinals yesterday. How has Jack Myers been able to have so much success, and what does he need to continue to do? Yeah, Jack's just got a tremendous field of pitch. You know, every game all year he's kept us in the game. Hopefully, he can give us a couple more good ones. And he's been tremendous all year, and just keep him off balance and keep throwing strikes. Thanks, Coach. Good luck. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Back live from Swanson Stadium here in the fifth inning, joined with Liberty head coach Scott Jackson. And coach, you got to feel like it's only a matter of time before your bats break out, right? What are the keys here against Myers? Well, he's done a great job. First of all, I mean, you got to give him credit. But second of all, you know, we got to get some momentum going here. And hopefully that inning, that one, two, three inning there with Dylan, the double play ball gets us some momentum and we can capitalize. Yeah, what'd you see there from Dylan coming? And what are you looking for to determine when you go to Mason Fluharty and others? Yeah, yeah, I mean, J D Dylan's a ground ball guy. So if we're getting ground balls with him and that slider's in play, we're in good shape. So, so far, so good good and we'll see what the game tells us to do. Thanks coach, best of luck. All right man, thank you. Kennesaw State with this five run lead. They got those three runs in the seventh. The lead off man here aboard. John, what's it sound like down there in the dugout? Yeah, I think the reality of this score is starting to set in on both sides. I'm over here on the Kennesaw State side and there's a ton of energy in the dugout. You can sense the position players trying to conserve energy in the heat, but as soon as they come in at the end of the defensive inning, they are greeted by hugs and high fives and these guys on the bench are really fired up. Pull to the right side. Keeter's going to go the long route to second. Out there, turn to first will not be in time to get Josh Hatcher the force play. You were down there when that last half inning ended and Bez to check 11 pitches to get through that seventh, John. And I mean, you see these wonderful celebrations all throughout college baseball, but they lean up, mean a little bit more on days like today. Yeah, you play a 55 game season and you you live for moments like this. And I think all week we've seen the Liberty side, maybe the most rambunctious dugout of the entire tournament. They've got all the celebrations when they score and they kept the energy high through five or six innings. But you can really sense them starting to get a little nervous here. It's really going to come down to those at bats in the next inning. Bouncing ball through the left side. Another hit for Tyler Simon. First and second occupied and a little more noise down there. Thank you very much, John. Pleasure, guys. Now John Vitas with us to talk about some of this RPI scenario. We're not done yet, John, but it looks pretty good for the Liberty Flames to get in potentially as an at-large. Yeah, the deeper we dive into it, guys, the more it looks like they have to be in the tournament, even with the loss today. They were perfect so far through the first four days of this event. By my count, at least 12 wins this season against top 100 RPI teams. They won two out of three against the Florida Gators. Uh, they split with this Kennesaw State team who's top 50, and they beat the North Carolina Tar Heels. So those are some of the headliners for Liberty. Uh, they did split six with teams outside the top 100, Jacksonville and Stetson, but those are really the only blemishes on their resume. They still split six against conference opponents. So when you look at it, you know, in an unbiased way and you see them in that top 35, I don't see how they get left out, but of course, crazier things have happened. John, thanks for looking into those numbers. We're joined now by head coach Ryan Coe. John Vitas, take it away. Thank you, Bryce. Yeah, we're joined here with the victorious coach. Coach, first, first year coach in ASUN history to ever win the conference tournament. Uh, this team had to face elimination three days in a row and able to win all three. How did this team get it done? Well, they nicknamed themselves the Grimy Dirtbags, and I think it showed in every game they battled to the last out. Every, 
every uh, ounce of the way, and they're a tremendous bunch, just a tremendous heart, and that's the way we played all year, and it's uh, just glad they get rewarded at the end here. I don't know how you're dry right now, but well done on your part. Uh, this team, known for its hitting, we've talked about your lineup at length throughout the tournament, but in the elimination phase, you had to lean on some pitchers on really short rest. John Bezdecek today steps up in back of Myers. What can you say about those two young men? Oh, you know, we talked a lot about before the tournament how in 94, 96, we had big outings from unexpected people, and I think we saw that yesterday, and then we had some guys that were on short rest and came back and performed and pitched well in the mound. And as you can see, if you give this team a chance, we got a chance to win a lot of games. You took over for Mike Sansing this year, a legendary head coach, three decades as the skipper of this program. I know you know him well. You were a 90, 1994 NAIA national champion at Kennesaw State. What brought you back to the program? Why did you want to be here? Well, just the tradition of the program and coach. Obviously, I played for him, coached with him, and now I'm back as a head coach and love the guy to death and you know, just glad he could be uh, as, it's as much for him as it is for anybody. Last but not least, why can this team do damage in the NCAA tournament? Uh, you got a puncher's chance if we go out and swing the bat like we have been. Uh, you know, I don't think anybody wants to play us right now, and we got in, and that's the first part, and we'll do the rest if we get there. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bryce, back up to you. Thanks a lot, John. What a moment there to watch that ice shower. It, let's go down to John Vitas. Thanks, Bryce. We're joined with the most valuable player of the 2022 ASUN Baseball Championship. It's Kennesaw State outfielder Josh Hatcher. Josh, what's this been like for you guys today? This has been a wild ride. You know, we started the tournament 0-2. Coming into that third game, we just knew if we won that game, then we have a shot. You know, we kept saying it on the bus at the hotel. If we win that game, that we know we'll be in this championship game. And this is the eighth time we've played these guys this year. And we're just saying, like, there, there's no other team that we would have want to play in this situation. You guys faced elimination three days in a row. FGCU, you had to eliminate them on their home field. Yesterday, a two-run win over Lipscomb, and then today against a top 40 team in the country in Liberty. What does it take for a team to come together and, and accomplish that? Oh, you know, we have a saying on our team, we're just a bunch of grimy dirtbags, and that's that's literally what it is. That's all it takes, you know, we're, we're a gritty group of players who never give up, you know, down 10, up 10. We're just never going to give up, and we're going to keep giving it our best. You were at Mississippi State and accomplished great things in the postseason. Why did you want to come to Kennesaw and do this? Um, this is my last year, you know. Uh, Starville's six hours away from home for me. This is, this place is a – Kennesaw State's a lot closer to home. You know, my family could come see me play. I'm playing with a group of guys that I went to high school with that were my best friends since, since I was a little kid, you know. And uh, to come here and do this with them and for this new coaching staff in the university, it means everything to me. So you know what it takes to get to Omaha. Why can this team do it? Uh, like I said earlier, we're a bunch of grimy dirtbags. Um, to win the postseason, you have to play every single out. You know, it's, it's pitch to pitch. It's never, it's never game to game. It's pitch to pitch. Uh, we have another saying, you know, uh, 17 seconds on, 17 seconds off. You know, we, it, that adds up to 20 minutes a whole a game. The whole game, just 20 minutes you focus and you lock in, pitch to pitch. Josh, congratulations. Go celebrate. Thank you, sir. Bryce, back to you.